Well, good afternoon. This is a uh, welcome to another thrilling episode of Investigators in Cars Drinking Coffee. I'm your host, Mark Mernan, president of Complete Legal Investigations here in West Palm Beach, Florida. And with me is my uh, co-host, partner in crime and civil litigation, Wendy Strom Mernan, a uh, licensed private investigator, certified paralegal, Florida registered paralegal. And uh, thanks for, uh, we had a bit of a hiatus, enjoyed a little bit of downtime, got yeah. away a little bit. And uh, now we are back in the saddle again. So uh, kind of orient this here. See, you have your seatbelt off? No more seatbelt. I right? took my seatbelt off this seat time. Yeah. Right. I just knew your story. I need my seatbelt on to hear your story. My story, yes, yeah. it's so yeah. exciting. Yes, all right. <laughs> well, we're great. Glad to be back with you here. So we're going to continue, I guess, uh, part two of. Uh, right. Uh, how to be, how to how to become a PI or how we became PIs maybe that's the way to put it. So. Well, how you became a PI? How? Okay, all right. So, well, whatever. <laughs> I'm more interested in how you became one. So. <laughs> well, you know. I know. Anyway, so yes, I wanted to ask Mark some more questions because it, it's just such a fascinating story, and I mean, he's been doing it his entire life, and um, well, not so, yet. Well, no, not yet. But up to this point in your life, yet. you've been an investigator. I have my a career. Real, yeah, real investigator. Really? So, um, what kind? You know, if, you, if someone asked you, you know, what kind of investigator you are, I, I know there's different types of investigators. So, what? How would you describe? What is your job description? Well, we are we're um, we call ourselves legal investigators. There's actually the National Association of Legal Investigators, which uh, describes a legal investigator as uh, as a professional investigator, usually working as a, in a staff position for a law firm or independently as a licensed investigator uh, that specializes in litigation related uh, to personal injury, criminal defense, or even family law, even corporate work. Mm -hmm. Anything where you're working with the attorney primarily and not with the general public. Uh, we do take uh, cases, obviously, from uh, our Facebook friends who uh, contact us, uh, either through our Facebook page or our website, uh, completelegalinv.com. Right. Uh, but uh, legal investigators specialize in litigation. Mm -hmm. And I think that's one way to put it there. But there are, right. like you said, other types of investigators. So who are our clients? You know, who are our clients are attorneys, uh, primarily attorneys mm -hmm. and uh, law firms. Right. Uh, we do work with private individuals who are usually referred to us by attorneys right. or law firms. Right. Um, and and by the time they get to us, they usually have an attorney. Yeah, correct. We're I mean, usually brought in by yeah. the attorney rather than, and this is probably how you distinguish between a legal investigator versus a private investigator. They used to advertise in the uh, in the yellow pages, but but it is interesting. There are all kinds of different mm -hmm. uh, specialties within the profession, and uh, there are those who specialize in insurance uh, surveillance, mm -hmm. uh, workers' compensation claims or injury claims from the defense side, right? And then there are. Um, People who do just uh, domestic work, what we call marital work, domestic work, custody work, uh, a lot of surveillance involved with that. Um, our work is, uh, we do some of, uh, of that as well, uh, but we also just do a lot of interviews, research, things like that. You, yeah, do, you had, do the research. We've had some fun doing surveillance. Yes, we have. Yes, we've, we've talked about that. Talked we've about already that. talked about that before, so let's... We have more stories, but we won't go there today. <laughs> no, we won't. So, um, uh, what would you say is your, you know, your your sweet spot as an investigator what what is your favorite thing to do because that's usually what you're best at yeah um, you know we both do have our roles at, in our business and so tell them what your role is other than well then I, I do it then you got to tell what yours is drinking coffee drinking and, coffee yeah. and driving around that's yeah. my job description <laughs> drink around drive coffee yeah, ask stupid questions yeah, so yeah. and um, I work and hard. you work that's yeah, she works right. very when you works very hard much yes. harder than I do yeah. but I, I think I, I would say that the the best thing we do of course is interviews uh, getting people to talk to you mm -hmm. is uh, so important, uh, in, particularly in litigation. Uh, we're not law enforcement officers, although I, I, I do know some law enforcement officers who, are, officers who are very, very good in the private sector. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very dear friends of ours who are uh, former retired law enforcement, got into the private sector, did very well. Right. Other uh, Others uh, you know, aren't so comfortable doing like criminal defense work uh, for whatever reason. I respect that as well. But I think our sweet spot is Oh, here we go. Off and on. This is live, <laughs> folks. I don't make this up. But getting people to uh, talk to us uh, mm -hmm. is really the most important thing. You have to be able to talk to people. They have to like you in order to talk to you. Uh, if they're intimidated by you, if you come off as uh, obnoxious, arrogant, as a know-it-all, they simply won't talk to you. 
Uh, I don't have a badge that I can uh, show to somebody and get them to talk to me. They're under no obligation. So anybody who speaks with us speaks with us voluntarily. And right. uh, we, we're um, not interrogating them. We're not interrogating right. them. I'm not beating confessions out of people. We're just uh, trying to uh, elicit their cooperation. Sometimes they say no, and I think I've addressed that in a previous interview. What to do when what to do when witnesses won't talk to you? Right. Uh, but it doesn't. Believe it or not, that it doesn't happen. To you? Well, every now and then. Every <laughs> oh now and then. I thought everybody talked to you. No, you talk to me. Uh, okay. Well, until you don't. <laughs> until you don't. But uh, yeah, most people do talk to you. Okay. If, you if you approach it, it's all in the approach or you know your relationship to the case and just being able to um, you know warm up to people. They they have to like you. Yeah. The other thing that I have seen you're very very good at is locating people. Very hard to find people. Yeah. So I mean, you have the patience for it. You know how to dig. And it's the first time you use the word patience uh, <laughs> in in context of me. So. Yeah, that you do have the patience for. Okay, so, right. um, it, do you like doing that? Do you like locating people, digging up, you know, uh, social networking, or you know, is that a challenge Data mining. for you? Yeah, that is. That is fun. It's where you actually. I, f I figured out a way to monetize Facebook. Oh, okay. It's making as much time as I spend on it. So <laughs> I have to come up with a way to make money on it. Right. Right. But yeah, we do locates, and okay. uh, and you've seen those. You've done some yeah. of those yourself. Right. Uh, uh, finding people through uh, figuring out the networks that we have pr uh, through proprietary databases, through social media, everybody uh, seems to be on it, uh, unless the ones who are really, really hard to find. And there are right. people you just can't find because you run out of money. Uh, there there are just many aren't any you can't find. Not many. There aren't not many. many. We've been able to yeah. find most of them, so our success rate's pretty good. Okay. But that's a challenging too. Okay, so last question. That's good. What What is your specialty? What well, do this you is do? about you today. Yeah, it's, okay. <laughs> Actually, I do research, so I'm mostly a research investigator, and um, I'm not going to get into all that, but I'm not out in the field most of the time knocking on doors. I'm on the computer digging up people's stories. Knocking on digital doors. Yes, and I'm digging up people's stories. I'm going to do an article about that today on our Facebook about uh, telling people stories. And so um, that's what I do. That's what I like to do. That's my specialty. And you're very good at it. Her reports, um, folks, her reports are the best. Yeah. So anyway, I'll do some phone interviews and I do, you know, I do go out with Mark at times, but... Um, we just left the, we just left the jail. We were trying to see yes, a client. Yes. 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 Come with me so, to the jail. Anyway. So, well, I appreciate um, all this great information. I know people are always very interested in how to be a PI and what it's all about. And it's not like TV and we're not CSI investigators. No, no, we're not. But we really, um, you know, serve a wonderful purpose in the legal community um, and the court system. So we're just very honored to do that. And we're just, you know, it, uh, Mark, you're just such an asset to um, the investigative field. So well, thank very you kind. for and your so time you, today. So are you very much. It's great and to be interviewed. Coffee. And for the coffee, too. Yes, thank you. All right. Well, that concludes our episode today. Thank you so much for watching us. We really appreciate your, your feedback. Uh, look down and scroll down and look at the like section. Uh, just pop a thumbs up there. would be very, very grateful. Share it with your friends. Uh, and visit our website at www.completelegalinv.com. Our Facebook page at forward slash Facebook forward dot com forward slash Complete Legal Investigations and uh, um, become one of our friends there. We look forward to seeing you next time. And investigators in cars drinking coffee. And you can Google us. Google us too. This way. <laughs>